Hey, Dave Fan here with the Body From Personal Training Fitness Boot Camps. No lazy weekends. Three tips to maximize your fitness over the next two days. The classic old school back in the day, we learned this lesson the hard way. Monday through Friday, train our clients. Hey, see you on Monday. They lose two pounds during the week, gain two pounds over the weekend. Monday, we start all over again, over and over. And this was years ago and we realized, you know what? especially for fitness people that are already in fitness and it's kind of like their lifestyle, they know there's really no days off. I mean, of course you need a rest day at some point to recover and mentally and physically, but the weekend you can use to maximize your fitness and help you stay on track. That way you're not having to start completely over on Monday every week because that can be frustrating. So here's the deal. Three tips to maximizing your weekend. These are the things that we know will help you lose weight, feel better, Stay on track, reinforce that exercise habit over time and just enhance your life. So number one, on the weekend, you have more time. If you're only able to, because the number one reason that people say that I can't get in shape, I don't have time. And we take people and clients that are really squeezed on time. We get one 30 minute workout during the week. We get a 30 minute workout on Saturday morning. That's their exercise plan. I've gotten up to 30, to 50 pounds off of clients with only two workouts a week. Remember, it's not forever. It's what you have to do right now when your time is squeezed, if that's what it takes, because maybe in a year or two your job will open up and then you can work out three, four times a week, but you can start now with two times per week and start moving forward. It doesn't sound like enough, but it works. So more time, use those weekends to get in that extra, that bonus workout. And what we say is like either Saturday morning, it keeps you on track, either Sunday morning, which is a little bit more rare, or Sunday afternoon around 4.30, we see a lot of people go in, they'll do yoga, they'll do some type of recovery, but that one workout a weekend, and it's not about the calorie burn, it's not what you think it's there for. One, it reinforces the exercise habit. Two, it helps you stay on track with your nutrition, which is where everybody gets blown out over the weekend. So that's what the weekend workout comes into. It helps you stay on track. It's kind of a bonus workout. If you're squeezed for time, it'll help you stay on track. And at the end of the day, it's really to reinforce those healthy eating habits. Because if you've ever worked out for any length of time, you go, you know what? When I'm working out, I tend to eat better. And you'll see that for yourself. Number two, one cheat meal. Plan it. If you go into the weekend, you go, you know what? I'm going for it. Whatever happens, happens. You have to stay on track with your nutrition, even if it means getting up a little bit earlier to get your first meal in, you'll feel better. And this is an investment into you feeling better on Monday and not having blown out your diet, because then you have to like completely start over again. So stay as close to your regular plan as possible and pick one meal, not one day, one meal to be your cheat meal. And we always tell people, either Saturday night, like at five o'clock, you cut it off. You start drinking and eating, then Sunday morning, you get back on track. Or for the church crowd, immediately after church on Sunday, you can go after it, do that brunch, do that drinking mimosas, whatever works for you, but plan it. Don't say, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna go after it for the next two days because you can do a lot of damage and we can that we have to fix every week. That way, it's most important so you feel good on Monday. And one cheat meal, you need that. Don't try to go all the way through and drop all the weight you need because this is a mental thing. You need a mental break, you need a physical break, and just feel better and kind of like get all those cravings out of your system. And number three, it gives you a little bit of time for meal prep. When I talk to success stories on video, and if you've watched any of these, 90% of the time, the number one change that any client has made in their nutrition plan that gave them the biggest return on their success is meal prep. And it doesn't have to be that weird bodybuilding, every meal prepped perfectly in Tupperware and your refrigerator. You can just do proteins. You can do your chicken. You can do your fish. The things that would take time that would, you say, would you're coming home Tuesday night, you're not getting off work till like nine o'clock at night. And you're like, shit, I got to cook. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a drive through so if you have your meal prepped, you have your proteins, all you have to do is steam up some vegetables in three minutes. Then you have lean and green, lean proteins, vegetables, and you're good to go. That's where the meal prep comes in. And you decide how far you want to take it. 
as much as you want or as little. I mean, what I see a minimum of is getting those proteins that take time and thought to like prep and cook. If they're already sitting there, you will stay on track better. So that's the number three thing that you can use your weekend for. And these are the three big things. And again, it reinforces the good habits that you'll carry through the week and help you stay on track. That way you're not dropping two pounds during the week with all your hard work and then putting it right back on and spinning your wheels. So that's how we say no lazy weekends. Of course you need a rest day. We're human too, but you want to maximize your fitness. Number one, more time, get a workout in over the weekend. There's no downside. It reinforces that exercise habit. You're going to do this the rest of your life. One cheat meal, know it, plan it, and get after it. Three, time for meal prep. Just getting your protein set up will help you every day of the week, the rest of the week, and help you stay on track. And then you'll go into next weekend feeling better, leaner, and already reinforcing that exercise habit, the most important thing of all. If you like this video, like it, share it, comment below what works for you over the weekend. I'm Dave Fannin with the Body Farm Personal Training Fitness Boot Camps. Hope you guys have a great day.